I first knew I was an entrepreneur, I probably always knew I was an entrepreneur. I always liked it. So I was in the fourth grade and Mrs. Pullen was my teacher. And one day I walked in the classroom and she had taken the one whole blackboard and she had written this really long word on there. And I said, oh, Ms. Pullen, you know, what's that word? And she said, I think you should go look it up. So I went and looked up and I, e, entre, and, I and I read the word entrepreneur because that's what she had written on the board. And I remember reading the definition going, ah, oh, that's me. And I turned and looked at her and I said that. And she's like, I thought you might be interested in that. And from then on, I, it was very interesting to me because there was a label for how I sort of intrinsically felt. Fizz is the leading word of mouth marketing company. So the reality is that in mature media markets around the world. Broadcast doesn't really, isn't as really effective as it used to be at getting people to buy stuff. And so the consumers in these mature media markets all over the world have really changed from following broadcast to following conversations from their friends. And so we create those conversations about brands that are worth talking about. You create the conversation by really understanding that a story really has three components if they're gonna be shared between two people. Um, it's authentic, it's interesting and it's relevant. Or as we like to say in the office, you know, it has air. So if it has air, it will fly around and it will fly between people. And everybody who's watching this has seen this because you've seen um, your friends recommend something to you, you try it. You're like, oh wow, that the story that you just told me, that product or service totally matches or exceeds that. And the next time I'm talking to one of my friends that I think would also find that story and the product working as well as it was laid out to be, I'm gonna share that story with them. Some people get really get wrapped up in making it and not enjoying it. And I'm a little different. Um, because my dad passed when I was very young and because he was always very happy, I cut a deal with myself when I was a freshman in college and I said, I'm going to be happy. That's what it is. And so ever since I was a freshman at Hamden, Sydney, I've only done things that make me happy. So you've always knew you wanted to be a journalist or you always knew you wanted to be a whatever and that's what makes you happy. For God's sakes, go do that. But if you don't know, happiness for us, happiness is what leads to wealth. I mean, can you be happy and not be wealthy? Sure. But man, if you're happy work and at your work, then it ain't work and it's fun. And then you just do it all the time and you're creative and you're thinking about it and you're pushing things out. And people are like, eventually something will hit. I think everyone who really loves what they do uh, has a shot. For me, it's all about happiness.